to work now. We're gonna go get some coffee first and then, or actually I might get a tea. I don't know yet. I forgot my water at home. Oh no. So I guess I'll have to get water too. Can I pick? Uh, yes, can I please have a medium hot black tea? Okay, thank you. Thank you. We need our food, don't go away. You almost drove away without my food. <laughs> I have a question for my fellow truck drivers. Am I too extra because I avoid poppy seeds? Because I know that they can lead to a false positive on a drug test. So like ever since I got my CDL, so like five years now, I haven't had like an everything bagel, which are my favorite bagels, by the way. I haven't had any poppy seed muffins, which are my favorite muffins. And also, like, when I get avocado toast from Dunkin', like, I always ask for it without the seasoning. Am I extra for that? Or am I doing the right thing? Yay. My sticker there. fell off. Sadness. <laughs> That's so plain! I don't like it looking looks, at it! It looks so sad without the seasoning, I swear. Mm. It's not the same. The last time I ordered it, I forgot about the poppy seeds on it, and I had it with the seasoning. And it does make a difference, but... Oh, someone in my mukbang video said I should have used the sauce on my pizza. That was such a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. But, what if I use it on my avocado toast? Oh my god! I have the avocado toast without the seasoning, so it is kind of plain. So, let's see if it tastes good with some Taco Bell sauce instead of the seasoning that I can't have because I don't want to have a false positive on my drug test if I get drug tested. Hmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. Nice. You want to try it? No. You're trying it. Okay. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. It's actually good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this makes up for the fact that it doesn't have any seasoning. seasoning on it. So I've had my CDL for five years, but Daniel's had his CDL for seven years. How many times have you been randomly drug tested? I've been randomly drug tested four times. So nearly an average of one time every year. And it's random. Okay, I don't feel targeted. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's random, I'm just being silly. Or am I? Hmm. So I got a two-stop New Jersey. I'm going to Oakland first. They get seven pallets. And then I'm going to Rockaway where I'll be doing my drop. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna do some paperwork, log into my Omnitracks, and then we'll get going.
are going. Oh, there goes another one. Uh oh. What's going on up ahead? Oh, so that's where all the cops were going. Okay, um, one little problem though. That's my exit, so. Uh, this is gonna be awkward. Let's see. I think I'm just gonna. Excuse me, I'm just gonna sneak by you guys right here. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. <coughs> Not gonna lie, I was freaking out a little bit. Thought I was gonna have to miss my exit and find another way over here. I think this area is really cute. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, these kids over here almost gave me a heart attack because it looked like they were gonna run across the street. I was prepared with all my might to slam on my brakes, but they weren't that stupid. It's just that sometimes you have to expect the worst, you know, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thankfully, they, they were not completely dumb <laughs> and I didn't have to worry about running them over i don't know just the way that they ran out like so suddenly made me feel like they were gonna run out in front of me but anyways we're here i was thrown off a little bit by this cone hold up yeah see where i'm going so slow it's because that cone i was just like um okay and then also there was another guy over there um he's also from my warehouse but luckily there is a dock open right next to him so we're gonna back into that one Ooh, looks like he's got a 53 foot trailer all right let's head inside as soon as they were done unloading the other guy they started unloading my trailer for me, I only had seven pallets for them. All right, guys, it is time to go to our second stop. I'm going to Rockaway, New Jersey. It is 28 miles from here, but it is closer to the warehouse. Let's hit the road, make sure everything is good. Okay, so I have no idea what was going on with these cars in the parking lot. Um, they were acting kind of strange, to say the least, but I think they were all just, like, friends meeting up together or something. They kind of gave me, like, the same vibes as the kids who were, like, running at the restaurant across the street. So, like, if I had to take a wild guess, I'd say these are the same people, but, like, that's just me making assumptions. I don't know what they're doing, but... Yeah, that, that was interesting. Wow, these cops are on a roll today. Another one. Well, 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 what have we here? It's another cop. Hello there, officer. Alrighty then, off you go, I see. At least he used a signal the second lane change. Alright, so this little next part is for Amy. Amy, hi, if you're watching this. Uh, this is how I get to Rockaway. So I'm on Route 10 right now. I make that right onto 665. And then after 665, I make another right onto Franklin Road. It's uh, a little windy, but after Franklin Road, I go ahead and turn left onto Rockaway Road. And um, Rockaway Road leads me to 513 right over here. 
and then from 513 I make a right and that leads to the railroad tracks which leads me to the back of the store. That's how I go directly to the back so that I don't have to drive through the parking lot. All right, so pulling in, I noticed that there are two other drivers indoors. I'm kind of on autopilot and I was going directly to the docks that I would usually do my drops at, but um, I noticed that somebody was motioning for me to head over to them. They were like trying to get my attention and then I realized that the docks that I usually drop my trailer in is like full. So he was just motioning for me to go into a different door that was open. I have a drop. You want me to drop it there? Okay, sounds good. So over here, as I'm making this right, I thought a car had stopped to let me turn, but it turns out that they were just like dropping off some people, probably like an Uber or something. But I felt bad that I went because I didn't want to be that close to someone getting out of the car, but I didn't know that's what was happening. I thought they stopped to let me go for some reason, but oh well. And this is why when you stop at stop signs, you stop behind the line and then check for traffic and then you proceed so you don't end up like this guy. So one of my biggest pet peeves on the road is cars going slow in the middle lane. It is honestly like the most obnoxious thing to watch. Luckily, I wasn't affected too much this time, I just passed them from the right, but it irks me even more when it's in like a situation where now I can't pass somebody in the right lane because the middle lane is going slow too. It's just, it's really annoying. Please keep right except to pass. Cause see now you got somebody passing you on the left. And now I'm also passing you on the right. Like, why would you put yourself in that situation? If you're going slow, please stay in the right lane. Don't be cruising in the middle lane like these people. It's so annoying. So I was going to drop my trailer into one of these spaces right here, but a jockey motioned for me to drop it right there, so I did. I guess that's less work for me. He wanted to hook up to it as soon as I dropped it, so he told me to just leave it there. Alright guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I'm gonna head inside the office to see if they tell me to wrap it up or if they give me another run, so let's go find out. They told me to wrap it up, so let's go feel the truck. <laughs> 